so even himself, he never knew what was up with those rabbits. Forget about the stupid rabbits. We've got bigger problems. It's confined memory, and there's no men mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out of him. How? Leave it to me. I've just got to give the bartender a quick visit first. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hey yo, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit? Check. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, doesn't that mean you don't have any money? Uh, you're getting so resisted. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hello, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Alright, thank you, sir. Here are your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. <laughs> Alright, loosen up. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything you need. Alright. Hurry up already, I don't want to be stuck here. Why, is that a pickled olive olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am, just got a fresh bottle of olive myself in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? I'll down a bottle, to, we'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. <laughs> Eva, decide with the taste simulation, now! Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. I'm so going to get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you okay there? Yes, I'm just savouring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could... Uh, find such things to be disgusting. Take your time, we've got two bottles left. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. And you know what else is wrong with society today? <laughs> yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally. Dear Lord. How were the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. What is this? Memento detected. Wait, don't you dare. Don't worry. Sheesh. See? Turning up by the books. Hulk smash! Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. Alright. Prepare. Um, ideal is four. I can hardly see which ones are... <laughs> um... Hmm... Um, all right.
Quack your nutcrackers. <laughs> you aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like two 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here and you can't get off. Gotta hate when this happens. I swear if this... Ah. <laughs> Ava, what the? <laughs> Wuss. Why would they abandon her like this? This place is just no longer needed. No longer needed. By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in just a few years we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but would be able to see her off from the window. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And, and we could walk here any time. We'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than the moments leading to it. The more important thing is over here. They are happy. Let's move on. Ah, <sighs> right. Debbie Huggin. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then, that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of your business anyway. She's not your, she's not our client. Received note, Anya. Well, I guess we'll have a look then. Pickled always, Johnny's favourite. Anya, and at the abandoned lighthouse by the cliffside. Alright then. Where are they going? I suppose it's just a reoccurring part of the memory there. Now I've just got to find the memento. Oh look, a rabbit. Deal is five. Hmm. Mark? River? All 
Right. He's a middle-aged man at the moment. Oh, not a lot to do in here. That piano, an old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really. You can't even get it through a store. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the ass for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. Sounds pretty epic. <laughs> okay. I see the creators of this game are Doctor Who lovers. New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh. I think I know where this is going. <laughs> Gonna be folding a lot of rabbits out of that. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning. What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see that rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. Don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. There's something wrong. River? Hmm. Don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get to what we're paid for over with. Many long strands of orange hair. She cut her hair herself? Um, I'm not sure if that's meant to be on the platypus or on the paper, or just the floor. But nonetheless, memento has been found. So this is the day it started, huh? Not missing anything? Okay. Bonk. 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 La bonk. Alright. Prepare. Ideal is three. Um, that was easy. Okay, activate. This platypus is so cool. Oh, it didn't jump back very far that time at all. see this place. Yeah. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Received note. A acrophobia? 
Something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. Right, <laughs> okay. They were not afraid of heights, which I'm assuming is what that means. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. Do you want me to try? Would you? River? Are you insane? Get away from there. Did it make it? I think this member isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Um. That's the memento. Why did you cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. It's all on. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Yeah. Prepare. Ideal is four. Well, this is easy. One, two, three, four. All right. Activate. Everyone with this is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It started to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do for long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty di difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress, because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it, because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. Don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then, I realise that it's too late. The Isabel that people know is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. 
I think in the end, I just envy her.